So you want to create a shining pearl material inside of Blender with Octane, then you have come to the right place. Start by selecting the object you want to apply the material to, in my case, this object. Then go into the shader editor up here and set the shader editor to object. Now we can click on new and it will automatically create a universal material that is plugged into the material output node. We don't want that, so select the universal material and press delete. Now we will add layered material. So we press shift A and we search for the layered material down here. We take the material out of the layered material and plug it into the surface connector of the material out node. Now we have to select a base material. Our base material will be a glossy material. So we press Shift A again, and now we can go to Octane Material, and we can take a glossy material. Take this one, and we take the material out, and plug it into the base material of our layered material. Just like that, we have our glossy material applied to our object. And I will make it a little bit more white. And we can leave the rest as it is for now. So into layer one, we now will put another layer. And this will be a metallic layer. So we press Shift A, we go to Octane Material Layer, and we take the metallic layer. Take the metallic layer out and plug it into the layer 1, just as you can see right here. Now we will take the roughness and set it to 0 0.3. I will now decrease the layer opacity down here to around 0 0.3. 3.7 and then we will go to the film width down here and we will put it to 0 0.2 great now we will add another layer by going down here and pressing add input now we have a second layer input and for that, we will use a sheen layer. So we have to press Shift A again, and we go to Octane Material Layer. And down here, we take the sheen layer. Plug it into the layer 2 of our layered material. And like that, we have control over the layer sheen. I will set it to a pink tone. And up here where my cursor is, you can see the sheen. If I take out the sheen layer, you will see that the effect is much lower. Of course, you can change the color of the sheen by going in here, changing it to whatever you like. Okay, so far so good. We also can change the film width if we like to get other color combinations. And this is basically it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, um, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time.